Poseł Korbet ma 4 minuty. Bardzo proszę. Thank you very much, President. This report is the culmination of a, a year and a half's work by the AFCO committee, which set up a special working group chaired by Mr. Wieland, chaired very ably with a representative from every political group. And our main task was to look again at our rules two years after the big rules revision that we, we adopted two years ago. Some things needed tidying up, some things hadn't worked so well. There was the question of this new device of interpolations, which I think we adopted by accident in plenary, which didn't sit very well with some of the other aspects of the rules. We've tidied all that up. But there are three big issues that have caused some controversy. The first is how to deal with the fact that the Parliament lost the court case against, that Mr. Corvin Micker brought against the European Parliament when he was censored and fined by the President for using um, quite uh, violently inappropriate language. The court ruled that we cannot deprive the, well, let me put it this way, that the balance in our rules between the right of members to express themselves and the protection of Parliament and the public from uh, hate speech and defamatory speech was not quite right. So we have very carefully, with the help of our legal service, rewritten that rule so that the emphasis now is on the use of offensive language, not so much on the content but on the intent to offend. And we have defined that very carefully and we've even got a reference to Article 21 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights so that it covers a wide number of, of ways in which people may well feel offended by hate speech. We think we have that balance right and I hope all groups accept what we have done there. The second interesting subject is that of transparency where we, we've been quite modest but we've wanted to increase the transparency in our rules where members are dealing with lobbyists. At one level, for all members, we say that members should only meet lobbyists who are on the transparency register and they should publish their meetings online. The word should is, not, is different from shall. It is not an obligation. It is more a recommendation, but it is an important recommendation for members. We go further, though, for rapporteurs, where we say that rapporteurs and shadows and committee chairs in dealing with the report shall, in other words, they have to publish a list of meetings, scheduled meetings that they have had with lobbyists, with interest representatives shall but it's only scheduled meetings if you happen to bump into somebody on a train or in the corridor of course you know you, you don't control that necessarily as a rapporteur but when you have arranged a formal meeting it should be reported and it should be transparent remarkably the EPP has I understand asked for a secret vote on transparency I mean you couldn't make it up, really. <laughs> it does seem to me a bit bizarre. Perhaps it's not too late for my EPP colleagues to reconsider. And then the final issue, difficult issue we've tried to grapple with is the question of fake groups. Political groups that have no political affinity as required under our rules. We had this, you may remember, some people will remember some 15 years ago when we had a technical group composed of a political party from the far right and one from the far left. They had no political affinity. They were creating a group simply to avail of the resources that you get from Parliament, staff, money, speaking time, to use that, but were not acting as a political group within our rules. Who, that may be a situation that repeats itself after the elections. We should protect ourselves and have a mechanism for making sure that affinity, if there is if there is a doubt about it, and we are very careful in our wording there to say that Parliament no normally need not evaluate the political affinity, but if there is manifest evidence, then the Parliament as a whole, by an absolute majority, that's a high threshold as a safeguard, can decide that a group has not been properly constituted. 
I think that's not unreasonable, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And now, Commissioner Europe, please. Mr. President, honorable members, the Commission welcomes that, in line with the framework agreement between our institutions, the European Parliament has sought the opinion of the Commission on the amendments to the rules of procedure which